Welcome to this video tutorial which will demonstrate how to place objects in Cabinet Vision. I am using Cabinet Vision version 9 Solid Essential. When I use the term objects I am referring to any items found in the catalogues within the objects option on the sidebar. Objects can include items such as cabinets and appliances or windows and furnishings. The standard database supplied with an initial installation of Cabinet Vision will include catalogues such as these. However, if you are using an established system, the catalogue names here may vary. Remember that a wall is required to be drawn before any objects can be accessed or placed, and you can place objects in either plan or elevation view. Regardless of what the actual object is, the concept of placing it in a room is the same for each. The most common method used is sometimes referred to as the drag and drop method. The custom cabinets library is where the basic cabinets are saved within a standard database. Initially, this category will display four subcategories, representing four assembly classes or cabinet types. Select the class category to expand it further and display subclasses. Cabinets, panels or more subclass categories can be found here. Select the cabinet from the list you wish to use and hold the left button on your mouse while you drag it from the sidebar into the room. When you release the button on your mouse, your cursor will change to a dashed outline of the cabinet you are about to place. The dashed outline will resemble an envelope figure, and whichever wall the top of the envelope runs parallel with is the wall that that cabinet will snap to. Once you have the outline in the area you want to place the object, left click to drop the cabinet and it will snap to the wall. If you are placing a cabinet next to an existing object, overlap the outline before you drop it. If you are placing a cabinet in a gap that is smaller than the object you were trying to place, it will shrink to fit. Once placed, a cabinet may be moved in several ways. When you select a cabinet that has been placed in a room, it will become outlined with yellow and green dots. The centre yellow dot will grab the entire object and pick it up for you to move to its new location. Using this method will only allow you to move the cabinet to another wall face where there is enough space for the object. You will not be able to place the cabinet within another cabinet or offset it from a wall using this method. The dark green dot works the same way as the centre yellow dot except it allows placement of the object anywhere you wish. Using this method can force the cabinet to be placed within another cabinet, inset or outset from a wall, or even in the middle of a room. An alternative method of achieving the same results as the dark green dot function is to hold the control key down on your keyboard while placing the object using the center yellow dot method. Holding the control key down on your keyboard will force the object into any position you choose. The light green dot allows for rotation of an object. By default, the object follows the wall. However, when the need arises to have the object rotated to a different orientation, the light green dot will allow you to do this. The yellow dots that appear in the middle of the dashed lines around the cabinet outline allow for resizing of the object. You can click on the dot and then drag the edge to a new position and click again to increase or decrease the size of the cabinet. Alternatively, instead of manually moving or stretching an object by using these coloured dots, when the object is selected, the properties in the sidebar will allow you to type exact values to achieve your required changes. The left clearance is the distance to the nearest object on the left of the selected cabinet. The right clearance is the distance to the nearest object on the right, and if there is a corner involved, the depth of the objects on the adjoining wall will be considered. The left end position is the distance to the wall end left of the object regardless of what items may or may not be on the wall. The right end position is the distance to the wall end right of the object. The left and right centre positions are the values from the centre of the selected object to each wall end and are very helpful when aligning objects such as range hoods over cooktops or oven cabinets. The dimensions are simply the sizes of the selected object. The angle position lets you change the angle of the selected object relative to the wall it has been placed on. The outset lets you adjust how far the cabinet sits off the wall, or if you enter a negative value here, the cabinet will be pulled back through the wall. And finally, the elevation is the distance the selected object sits from the floor. Using these fields is extremely efficient as you can even use the numeric functions on your keyboard plus, minus, division and multiplication to type equations to calculate sizes or distance automatically. For example, if I needed to make enough room on the left of this cupboard for say a waterfall end, a drawer unit and a bin cupboard, I could simply type the size of each object in this field as an equation so that Cabinet Vision adds up the values for me and works out the required distance I will need as clearance. 
The methods I have just demonstrated for placing and moving objects are much the same for all object types. However, there may be instances where you cannot modify the size of an object or it will not shrink to fit into a space that is smaller than its own width and this is generally due to the way that the object has been set up and saved into a catalogue. There are a few other ways you can place objects in a room without using the drag and drop method directly from the catalogue on the sidebar. You can select objects from the favourites bar at the bottom of your cabinet vision screen. The favourites bar is simply a shortcut to some of the items in your catalogues. To customise what items are on the favourites bar, simply locate them in the objects catalogues and drag and drop them onto the favourites bar. You can also remove objects from this favourites bar by right clicking on them and selecting delete. This will only delete the shortcut here, the object will still remain in your catalogue. You can also right click on your screen and select insert object. This method is especially handy if you know the names or characters within the name of the objects in your catalogues. Right click on the page, select insert object, type the beginning of the object name and hit enter. A list will appear for you to select an object from. Finally, if you do not require a plan of your layout, you can simply enter cabinets in a list form to produce report information such as pricing or cut lists. Go to the reports tab here. Then from the sidebar select order entry. Look through your objects catalogues and drag and drop the items into the list. The cabinet sizes and quantities can still be edited here. You should now have a good understanding of placing objects in cabinet vision. Thank you for watching.